Hey everybody, today I want to showcase a new full test deck. I'm really proud of this deck. I'm winning like 80% of my games with it. Um, it's highly resistant against control effects, locking effects, because full test bypasses the weakness of order by allowing you to use that order ability immediately. You can surprise your opponent. It's very hard for your opponent to respond to what you're doing. It has another key effect, um, resistance against control, which is Ronvid. Um, every time I play a soldier, this Ronvid is revived from the graveyard. Ronvid has one base strength. That means it blocks epidemics that my uh, witchers and the blue stripe commandos and blue stripe scouts are weak against. You're going to see in the matches that I'm showcasing today um, that Ronvid is a game winner. Another card that I really like is Botchling. Here's why. People just forget about Botchling's ability to transform. It heals him. Yes, it gets rid of buffs, but it heals him too. So if they don't destroy him immediately, he can just um, regain all his base strength and just become an equally valuable engine card. And because Northern Realms is very unpopular as a faction, most people are playing Scoia'tael and Nilfgaard and Skellige. To the point that, you know, like people just don't know what Northern Realm cards do. I'm going to leave it at that. This deck is about swarming, fill up the board, play Golden Froth. Because Full Test has the ability to mulligan a lot, I put in a lot of cards that you want to mulligan, like Roach and the Witchers. So let's, let's get into two games showcasing the ability of this deck to fight off control decks. So in our first game, we're up against... Monsters. Monster, uh, especially Aerodins, tends to be more controlly. The most important card in this match will probably be Ronvid. Ronvid's just amazing. Um, he's just there to, you know, get the girl. He just wants to prove himself. Come on, stop trying to knock him down. So we're up against a Sahil. I'm not going to even bother trying to destroy it. I could easily do that, but I'd rather save my artifact removal for the next round. My opponent just went artifact, artifact, artifact. I have 21 points on the board. This kind of player doesn't uh, put a lot of uh, units onto the board. That's just all, you know, it's just all artifacts. Since the first round isn't super important, I'm going to just take it as I can get it. You can make a good argument for destroying the Sea Heal in the first round, but I don't actually need to win the first round. He's okay with going down a few cards because he's just going to auto pass in the next round. Okay. So I kind of need to play three cards here to, uh, to pres make sure I don't burn any cards I don't want to burn. There you see Ronvid coming out. <laughs> I'm not really going to need any removal, so I might as well just destroy the Phoenix. Okay, here my extra mulligans are coming in handy. Got a great hand. Gonna open up with the cow because why not? Uh, there are a lot of reasons, like if he has an epidemic, it would be a bad thing, but it's not the end of the world. I'm going to use my full test leader ability. I don't think I'm going to need to use it on Seltkirk because my opponent's not going to play anything. <laughs> so I might as well focus on getting value while I can. I was thinking of maybe playing Botchling. Earlier. Um, so I misread, the, I misread this card when I was looking at it. I thought it said, destroy all the lowest units on your opponent's side of the board, like an epidemic every turn, but it's only one unit a turn. Okay. Which is not as bad. Had I read it properly, I w might have done something different. Okay. 
Okay. This will bring back Ronvid. Again, he'll eat up the... Destroy the weakest unit on the board again. <laughs> okay. This change into Botchling was a mistake. <laughs> I should have kept it as a Lubricant. Um, my opponent's destroying cards off my side of the board, so buffing them doesn't really help me. I decide to destroy that for now. I don't play the Witchers quite yet, because I know I'm going to lose a unit. And I might as well get the full value on my side of the board. So I play one Frothing. I buff again. I have a ton of more points than my opponent. There's no way he's going to get ahead. He has his own Witchers, but I have... <laughs> Ronvid saved me a ton of points in that round. He died three times. At least. Okay, we're gonna go into Enya. Okay, big opener. So with um, Ethne, as uh, uh, as some of the casters call her, uh, she plays all her units in the first round. So do not try to win the first round. Get all of her units out of her deck. This is the greatest weakness of Control Scoia'tael. Is that they play all their units in the first round trying to get you out of the round. Don't be afraid of that. Here I'm using Tritem's uh, special ability. Every time he gets buffed he does a damage. Ping. He pings people off. He's really useful. Okay. That's Artifact Destruction. This was a mistake. Do not put a unit in a, in a row by itself. It'll be destroyed like that. I should have put her into the uh, arranged row. And just hit off Roach. Would have been better for me. While I know that I lost um, some card advantage here, I don't care. My opponent expects me to pass immediately. I'm not going to do that. I push out Margarita because I'm kind of like, yeah, she's probably going to uh, not have anything to target because he's going to play all his artifacts this round. I could have probably just played the Lands Connect, but it doesn't really matter. I can't play the Witchers into that because he's going to kill it. Now I can play the Witchers. He can Epidemic here. That's fine. I should have played the Lands Connect instead. Okay, I got a really big card out of my opponent's deck. That, um... <laughs> Shiru is devastating uh, against Enya, but now that my opponent doesn't have it anymore, I don't have to worry. The reason why my opponent had to play that is because they didn't have any minions left. And so that was the only way they could get any minions on the board. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that because that helps my opponent line stuff up and I don't want them lining things up or pinging off important cards. I'm expecting more epidemics. So I, use, I decide to use that. If my opponent wants to use an Epidemic, they're going to have to ping off every single one of those. Or a Scorch. Okay, Ronvid comes back to save the day. Now Epidemics will hit Ronvid. Uh, using the... Yeah, so... <laughs> See, Epidemic. Ronvid saves the day. <laughs> He's died so many times. <laughs> my opponent doesn't have a recourse. If my, my opponent would have had to have removed his immune status, and when I buff up um, Selkirk twice with my uh, leader ability and with the gold froth, he would have 
been devastating. Thank you guys for watching. Like water off the back of a duck